I'm a hard worker on the pitch, but lately, I've been working very hard off the pitch as well, and it's been paying off, literally. All the TV appearances I did, the Nike endorsement and the magazine cover, everything's been stacking up, and even after tax, I'm still left with a lot more zeros than I thought. In other words, I'm rich. So everything in my life changed, the way I dress, the way I get around town, and though I've only lived in the new apartment for a couple months, I moved out into a giant mansion. Alright guys, because we are running out of time, just like I said in my Pez uh, Become a Legend video, we are running out of time in this one, obviously as well. So what I'm gonna do now, new rule, for these low fixture matches such as this one against Aston Villa, I'm only showing you the goals, extended highlights only for the important and or the big matches. So in this match against Aston Villa, I break through here from an awful mistake by the defender, they didn't actually make him pay and I even shush him, <laughs> like it's just no mercy when it comes to me on the pitch but um, hope you guys don't mind that I'm only showing you the goals and not extended highlights and uh, I think I'm doing the right thing because I'm trying to squeeze out as much uh, as many matches as I can right now. I'm not gonna just like bombard you with 10 matches an episode. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna try to keep it relevant with the good matches, not just show you the like uh, uh, 10 minutes, I mean 2 minutes uh, per match of the single of the low fixtures because nobody wants to see that. There's no point in that. And this series is actually closer to the end than you might. Uh, realize i mean just keep in mind that the game releases on on the 25th at 1 a.m so that's in two days hint hint in two days fifa 14 is over so i have to wrap wrap things up but as you can see in this match against the aston villa things are going swimmingly uh because through balls op over top through balls op basically if i if i have a teammate on the ball that is either has hazard even Sherla, uh, de bruyne or mata with really good long passing I just have to make a run and ask for a through ball and they just find me like I would say 9 times out of 10 it's, it's that high so then I just have to take a shot and maybe score which most of the time it happens against these low fixtures trust me it doesn't happen against uh, doesn't happen that easily against the um, the tougher opposition like you're about to see but this match will finish the uh, 5 to nil for Chelsea 9.3 match rating but this one actually is Liverpool against Chelsea the best attack in the BPL against the best defense in the BPL because Chelsea has um, the highest count of uh, clean sheets in the in the league right now and uh, let's see who can prevail awful mistake there by Gerard again in a Chelsea match and I almost make a good old Stevie G pay there but um, it does go into halftime nil nil and as you can see it's not as easy against Liverpool to just abuse the through balls when the opposition is on the ball. But we do have here a very good chance. A ball from, I believe that was Mata. And I take the shot. Good shot, but an even better save to deny me there. And then the corner, I actually get a free header on target. I was thinking how crazy would it be if I not only score a header, but a header from a corner. And then a fake shot, and I take the shot, and that's very wide. But why was that important? Because if you missed it, plus one star skill moves which means we now have five star skills it, it's only the thing that i wanted most ever since i began this uh, series unfortunately because of my uh, slack of uploading my lack of uploading um i it's come at the end of fifa when i re don't really need it anyway this match against liverpool was going to be a nil nil draw by the looks of it until the 88 89th minute when I break through everyone, Colo Toure, Colo Colo wasn't gonna catch me. And I put it in the back of the net to make it 1-0 for Chelsea. And to get the late win for Chelsea with a, with a very dramatic late goal. And that is what it finishes. I'm the man of the match with one goal. And here, that's the funny thing. My rating was actually 6.5 before I scored the goal. And now it's 9.3. That that's. I really hope they fix that in the FIFA 15 because it's annoying. But now we have a couple more of these low matches this one is against Norwich some bad defending there as you're used to in these uh, very low fixtures and I actually put a beautiful ball for Mata I wish I could have pulled that off in the Liverpool match but uh, Mata gets uh, himself a goal and gets me an assist and uh, some uh, accomplishments there and even a diving uh, driven pass trait which I'm obviously not gonna use but look that's what I'm talking about that was actually Davis be like that wasn't even uh, one of the high passing dudes I mean, uh, Dasbilkata's passing is obviously decent because he's a fullback, but I'm saying, like, 
I, did, I actually didn't even expect him to pass it to me. I just make the run like I always do and ask for the ball like I always do. But uh, another through ball here. But yeah, I didn't expect the Spielcatcher to find me that well. And I put in on another uh, shot there with the outside of the foot there. And I do a little posing. And in this match against Nor Norwich felt very easy. So did Aston Villa pretty much. Liverpool just felt really hard to break down. They didn't have, ironically, even though they had the best attack in the BPL, they weren't threatening at all on the attack but they were impossible to break down defensively as I get another goal here and my hat trick my second hat trick in this episode because in the first match with Aston Villa I also got a hat trick but I forgot to mention because I was busy talking about something else but uh, this match against Norwich finishes 4-2-0 and we have one more match this episode unfortunately it's, it's also going to be a low fixture match because I just didn't I just have to include these as well look at that though three goals one assist and two key passes. That's an amazing performance there. But we headed to the last match against Sunderland in the BPL. And um, I just, I, I can't skip these matches. Though I might have to do that in the future. I mean in the future, in the next, uh, in the next or the last episode. But look at that fake Rabona into a shot. Gets blocked, comes right back to my feet. And I actually do get it on the rebound. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it right from uh, the the scoop turn after the after the fake Rabona because that would have looked swell. And uh, rebound goals are just uh, you know they're not very pretty, but everybody likes goals. And uh, another through ball. Everybody likes through balls as well. Not really, but another goal from a through ball. I know. I, I trust me. I believe they're getting repetitive too, but they're very effective and. Uh, it's FIFA is almost over and in 15 you're probably just gonna see a lot of dribble goals because apparently that's a big thing I'm really not looking forward to defending in FIFA 15, but I am looking forward to attacking and um, Look at this one by the way interesting shot from me and I hit the post unfortunately I'm very unlucky and then P roller heaven from um, From Sherla apparently, but I think it, just, it was just a muck up there but uh, I was I was gonna say what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, that would have been beautiful if that had gone in. But as I was also saying, I'm not looking forward to FIFA 15 defending. I think it, it just looks very hard because of how OP dribbling and paces. As I get another goal here and a curve accomplishment, I'm getting so many goals in this uh, episode because we have three very easy matches um, and only one goal in the Liverpool match. And I really thought that goal wasn't gonna come. So. You can't really hold it to me that I'm scoring too easily because trust me, it's only easy when it's supposed to be easy. But uh, that's been the end of this um, episode 9.5 match rating. Uh, I don't know how many more episodes, you guys don't know how many episodes of these are, but there can't be many more because I literally ran out of time. In the meantime, I always uh, appreciate your guys' support. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. I've been Shade. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.